Welcome back everyone. In this tutorial, we will start configuring the all list that ex which will exclude blocks users. In addition, the following list, which will also only include posts of people who were followed and also exclude the ones that we have blocked. So let's get started. So a lot of this will involve a bit of custom query because Flutterflow and Firebase has its, it has its in limitation when using the query collection. The reason why I'm saying there's a limitation is because you can see here in Firebase, we can use the in operator only up to 30 equalities and not in only up to 10, which means that if you're following 31 users, this in operator will just break apart. Or if you're blocking more than 10 users, this not in will not work and function properly which is why we need to do kind of like a side custom code that loops through each of the posts that we have queried and retrieved and identify whether this user that have created the post is in the following or block list. So this is mainly done on the front end side of things instead of the back end query because due to the limitation of Firebase. So what we need to do is create a custom code and the code we can call it is, let's do the following one, following first. So let's create a, let's create a custom function called post following filter. And the arguments we want are the below. So the return value, we want to return a list of post records. So we're going to select document and it's going to be a list. I've already written a set of custom code, which I'll link in the description below. What it does is that it takes five arguments or the post or post user blocked, user blocked by following list or user. What it does is firstly obtain from or posts. What it does is that it loops through or each we list through each of the posts in all posts and then firstly pick out the user reference i.e who credited the post if the post is created by us we won't show it because it's us if the post is created by someone we have blocked we don't show it we skip it if the post contains if the post is created by someone that has blocked us will also skip it. This is to stop other users from seeing your posts if you have blocked them. Lastly, we'll show following. If the post is created by someone we're following, we want to add it. In the end, we'll skip all the posts except for the ones that for the except for the ones that are created by people we're following. Therefore, returning the filtered posts. So let's quickly configure this. Let's go to following. So what we're going to do here is something very similar. I'm just going to copy the container view here from all and go to paste it in following and we'll configure that. So here in the container, we're going to show, um, we're going to query all the posts. However, in the column, in generating this dynamic children, let's quickly call this following list. Instead of showing all posts, what we want to do here is use the custom function we just created. So we're going to show all posts from here. We're going to feed in all posts. Users blocked. So here, who have we blocked? We're going to go blocked users. Blocked by. We're going to do authenticated users. Blocked by. Following this. So who are we following? authenticated users following and then auth user is ourselves the user reference confirm 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 now let's test this to see if it works now that's loaded we can see all posts here by everyone including the one including Stephen L who we're following and then if we go to following it will actually show Stephen L's post only now let's unfollow Stephen L follow here it's unfollowed 
Now he no longer exists in the following list. Now that it works, let's configure the block. So any posts who are create, which are cre who which are created by people we have blocked no longer shows here in all or following. Will no longer show in all. So let's go back to our custom function. So a quick way to do this is simply let's reuse what we have created for post following filter. Let's duplicate this and rename it. Let's call this all posts. Maybe just call it post filter. The arguments are going to be very are going to be exactly the same. But here we're going to configure this. So now that we have just duplicated this, um, we can reconfigure what the logic dictates. So let's just say this is all posts, right? So all posts, we want to show our posts, people's posts we're following, and other people's posts who we're not following. So let's go down the logic. If it is our post, let's add it. So let's add it. If it contains people who've blocked or if it contains people who, with, um, who, have, who have blocked us, let's skip it. If it contains people who we're following, let's keep it there as well. And lastly, if none of the conditions are met above, i.e. we it's a post by someone who we haven't followed or is not us, let's add it. This is the other people's posts. So let's quickly check the custom function. Cool. Now that we've configured this, let's change this all posts logic. So in the previous lesson, we just selected all posts. But we're gonna have we in this lesson we're gonna change it to something similar to the following where we're actually doing the filter in the front end. So let's go to column of all posts, post document. So let's use our custom function we just created, post filter. The inputs are for all posts, post documents, list of posts, user block, which is authenticated users, blocked users, blocked by, which is authenticated users, blocked by, our following list, which is authenticated users, following list, and then lastly, authenticated user, which is itself, user reference, confirm, confirm. Save. I've changed the logic of the post filter, the all post filter, because it was meeting multiple condition, therefore the post was added multiple times. Here I've just changed it to a normal if else if condition, meaning if a condition is satisfied, the subsequent actions won't be checked, preventing multiple action multiple additions of the same post. I can also do the same for post uh, following filter. However, the only condition that is met is the following filter, which means that this code is perfectly fine. So now that's loaded, we can see here that we're not following anyone. Let's go to Stephen L and block him. So if we keep block, ideally, the all posts will not show Stephen L's post anymore. And we can see here, that's definitely the case. And in the back end, we can see it's blocked by us. Stephen L's is blocked, Stephen L is blocked by us. And here we're blocking that user. Great, now that's working. We need to create a way to unblock the user, right? Because we can't find Stephen L anymore. We can easily just create a button here in our profile saying, um, we can easily create a kind of like a list here, another tab that shows blocked users that only shows if the authenticated user is equal to um, this the profile, the user profile. Or you can have a button here. Ultimately, it's up to you. But the logic is going to be the same. You're going to show a list view of blocked users who you've blocked, and you have a button there to unblock the user, similar to how you can unblock a user. So I'm going to quickly delete this to unblock him in the back end. So we can see that Stephen L pops back up. 
let's follow him again to make sure it's working. So here we show all the posts, our posts, people who are following this post, and we can filter for people we're following by going to the following tab. I hope this series, I hope this short series helped you create a create a quick social media app similar to Twitter where you can see all the posts in addition filter for posts of people you're following in addition we have created a functionality to follow and unfollow block and unblock users which are very important in a social media app if you really enjoy the series Remember to comment, like, or subscribe for more content of Flutterflow.